Hey guys, my name is Aditya and you have tuned into channel AQ. Whoa, 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 whoa. My name is Aditya and they have tuned into channel AQ. I don't know who you are. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's show them how we do it. Hey guys, my name is Aditya and you have tuned into channel AQ. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to use a green screen. So let's roll that intro and get into the review right away. Shooting with a green screen involves filming a person or adding visual effects in front of a solid color. Then, by digitally removing or keying out that color, you can drop that scene onto the background of your choice in post-production. Removing the colored background is also referred to as chroma keying. Now you may notice some weird stuff happening with my hair. We will get into that a little bit later. My green screen setup is pretty simple. I'm using the Lenovo FHD 300 camera on a tripod mount pointing towards my green screen. To make sure that the green screen is lit evenly, I'm using two ring lights on either side to cancel out any shadows. Like explained earlier, the green screen itself is just one half of the magic. However, the difficult bit is done by a software on the computer. The technical terminology is called chroma key. Now, chroma key composite is a visual effect and post-production technique for layering two images or video streams together based on color hues or the chroma range. So in simple terms, you can pick a specific solid color and if the software detects it, it will just be registered as transparent. Now, this can explain the weird stuff that happened with my hair a little earlier. I had colored my hair blue recently and now it has faded to a teal green color. The software thinks that it's part of the green screen and hence considers it transparent. Let's look at the software side of things now. I'm using OBS Studios and will show you the steps to add the chroma key filter. First, I have added a video capture device that is linked to my Lenovo Full HD webcam. In order to add the filter, we need to right click on the video capture device and then select filters. Then click on the plus sign and select the chroma key filter and click OK. This will automatically default to the green chroma key. In case you're using a different solid color, then you do have options to change this. Once this is done, we are going to crop the video to match the green screen. We can do this by holding down the Alt key and then cropping the frame to the desired dimensions. Once this is done, we can transform the video to fit the entire frame. Similarly, you can apply the chroma key filter in post-production softwares. In my case, I happen to use HitFilm Express. I first create a composite shot and then add the green screen footage to the shot itself. Then we can head into the Effects tab and search for the chroma key filter. Once the filter is added, we can change the filter settings and pick the solid color we need to replace. Yo. The technology of chroma key and green screens have existed for quite some time now. Like this technique has been used in movies like The Matrix and is still being used in the Avengers movies. However, as time has gone by, the software and the hardware required have got really very simple and less expensive, which means you can set up your own green screen studio at home. Now I'll leave a link in the description to all the products that I've used in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Hit that like button to support my channel and subscribe for more videos in the future. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.